Hi Paul, Sister Jay. Hope you're okay today. Uh, it's good to see you. Um, I just want to thank some of the atheists out there for the comments that you're making and also uh, to those who make video responses. I want to thank you for that. Uh, one atheist today uh, complained and said, Jay, why don't you talk to us more under your videos? And um, well, one of the reasons is I, it's not my gift. I like to make videos and uh, that's my best way of responding to you. Uh, the other reason is all you're doing is popping, pumping out propaganda and outdated scholarship that's been debunked years ago. That's fringe scholarship that hasn't got any um, any, any depth to it. Uh, that's why I don't respond to a lot of comments because you're just rehashing stuff that you get from the thinking atheist or something like that and it's not really thoughtful stuff that you're saying um, the other thing as well um, you know I, I use the best scholarship <laughs> I really do um, most of the stuff I say and do um, is rooted in the best philosophers the best theologians that the world has to offer today <laughs> And, um, I, you know, I'm not going to demean myself by answering questions that are stupid or lack any depth or understanding of the subject. And so I said this to one atheist and then the atheist sent me a text from Ezekiel uh, 2023 and said, God uh, ordained sacrifice, child sacrifice. Uh, I, uh, Genesis, uh, Ezekiel 20 to 26 we read this is the quote that they gave that advocates they say that God is advocating child sacrifice it says and keep my Sabbath days holy for they are a sign to remind you that I am the Lord but their children too rebelled against me they refused to keep my decrees and follow my regu regulations even though obedience would have given them life and they also violated my Sabbath day so again I threatened to pour out my fury on them in the wilderness nevertheless I withdrew my judgment against them to protect the honor of my name before the nations that had seen my power in bringing them out of Egypt but I took a solemn oath against them in the wilderness I swore I would scatter them among all the nations because they did not obey my regulations they scorned my decrees and vi by violating my Sabbath days longing for idols of their ancestors I gave them over to worthless decrees and regulations that would not lead to life. I let them pollute themselves with the very gifts I had given them, and I allowed them to give their firstborn children as offerings for their gods, so I might devastate them and remind them that I alone am God. So the atheist who said, Jay, why don't you talk to us? And I told the atheist, I said, look, you're giving me second-rate scholarship that's been debunked, you're pumping out fringe scholarship that has no intellectual grounds in the academy or theologians don't even uh, advocate or, or, or think about in terms of academic theologians and academic scholars in the New Testament and Old Testament and really you know you're wasting my time unless you you do some reading and you come with some serious questions rather than this silly atheist propaganda that you keep pumping out you're wasting my time so this atheist then in response to that turns around and gives me this text now within five minutes of reading the chapter just reading the chap chapter 20 of Ezekiel you get the context there's two contexts here if we turn to uh, verse 30 it says therefore give the people of Israel this message from the sovereign Lord do you plan to pollute yourselves just as your ancestors did do you intend to keep prostitu prostitution by by worshipping vile images for when you offer gifts to them and give your little children to be burned as sacrifices you continue to pollute yourselves with idols to this day should I allow you to ask for a message from me, or people of Israel, as surely as I live, says the Sovereign Lord, I will tell you nothing. So, in the later verses, it's, it's obvious that God is saying that, that giving your child 
uh, in sacrifice to gods is, is an evil. It's an abomination to him. So what is God saying in the earlier verses? Well, in the earlier verses, what it what it's saying, God what God is saying is he's, he's handing you over to your sin so for your for your judgment. You know, it's like um it's like um say a, a a, a drug addict and you warn the drug addict you say look if you keep going on drugs and you keep stealing then I, I can't help you because in the end you're gonna come unstuck I can't keep helping you and financing you and, and providing for you because you're stealing money and you're doing things wrong and it's not doing you good and you end up gonna damage other people but the drug addict says no I want to go my own way so in the end you say, okay, if that's the way you want to do it, go. Then, the drug addict, they they take some drugs, they they steal from someone, they st steal, go uh, steal drugs from other drug dealers, they're riding in a car, and another car comes along, and then the, uh, someone in that other car has got a machine gun, shoots them, I know someone that happened, this happened to, uh, shoots them, and bullets fly over where the drug addict gets killed, and there's, the, the car goes off the road, and in that car was the drug addict's family. And the car crashes, and the family get hurt, the family die in the car crash, as well as the drug addict. Now, me, I said to that drug addict, if that's what you want to do, you go and do it. But I can't help you anymore because it's a dangerous thing that you're doing. And the consequence was the drug addict went off and got themselves into a mess and ended up destroying other people's lives. And it was judgment on his own life for his own stupidity and his own foolishness for, for whatever he's done. And God lets you do that. If you say, if you keep, say, committing adultery, you keep sleeping with another woman or another man behind your husband's back and you think you're getting away with it, you won't get away with it. The consequences will. It'll blow up in your face and it'll be a terrible experience for you when your husband or your wife finds out what you've done. You might lose your house. You might, you might get divorced. And... You know, lose everything. If you uh, lie or steal or do any sin and you keep doing it, the consequences will come back at you and God allows that to happen and br it brings judgment on yourself. So the people of Israel were re rebelling against God. They were sinning against God and God said, okay, if that's what you want to do, you do it. You do it. If you're going to sacrifice children and, and kill them to for these other gods, you do it. Because when you do it, the land's going to spew you out and you're going to get judged. Because they wanted to go their wicked ways. They wanted to do their evil ways. For God, it was an abomination to kill children. It was wicked. It was vile. Um, in, in the sense of uh, the child sacrifices that and the things that they were doing and, and God was saying if you do that you know it's an abomination and I'll bring judgment on you by allowing you to continue to do it which will make even more guilt for you right so that that is the context in other words what you sow is what you reap if you sow lies it'll come back at you if you sow hate it'll come back at you if you uh, kill innocent people or it, it'll come back at you if you rape it'll come back at you if you do something that's not right and keep doing it it will come back to you and that is what the chapter that those verses are saying that the atheist quoted and then later on in the verses God clearly makes it clear that child sacrifice is just an abomination so the atheist quoted that without reading the context. 
and these atheists are continually pumping out their propaganda without any serious study, without any serious thought, and it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Because all you're doing is pumping out silly, stupid propaganda without even having a moment's intelligent thought about the text that you're quoting. And it's just despicable as atheists who call themselves rational when they show no rationality at all in the quoting of ancient religious texts, especially the Bible. Okay. So there we are. Take care now and please leave me your thoughts.